my quest for solo wins. All right, everything's working right. And so what's going on here is basically me and a handful of people have all jumped right away out of the plane. And you can see, like I say in the replays, it's invaluable to go back and look. Look at how many people spread out from the first, from the very first. There's a second wave over like the next primary targets, a third wave that's a little bit more minor. And then four, five, and six, a few people jump out like on the alpha and beta part of the island. And then everybody's pretty stays here on the main part of Sanic. Um, especially when the plane starts on this side. Plane went from here all the way over to just past the ruins. So right now, let's focus on our little part of the world. We got me and another couple of guys. This guy turns out to be, or maybe it's this guy. I, Ilinar and Illidin, I don't know. Maybe they've been working together. But this guy lands a little before me. We do the ultimate dodge here to get, like, I'm like, well, I'll just bypass this because he actually runs into the left-hand side of the concrete building there to, to get his weapon. And I'm looking, looking, looking hardcore to try and find anything. I managed to grab a helmet and a vest, but he's hot on my trail. He's already on the boat. So I dump over the side, and I know that there is a... Um, I think that maybe the waves against the seawall will hide the fact that I'm swimming and that I jumped in. And fortunately for me, he doesn't seem to notice. So I duck out of the way. He's looking all over inside the ship. That's keeping him busy. I take a little cover, grab a uh, suppressor, because <laughs> you're not going to pass one of those up. And I go back in and grab myself a hump. And then I outfit it. I go to auto, and I try to get down on my guy here and I see that he is peeking me from up on the top he totally knows where I am so I just decide to wait and then to make a long story short we end up kind of trading shots back and forth and there's a lot of missing involved a lot of terrible play and I'm gonna fast forward oh that's a little bit much I'm gonna fast forward to I go up and hide in a crate here because I know there's another guy who is Illodin and so what has happened at this point is the guy from the boat comes up behind and gets on the hill, which is a pretty common play for this place. Like he gets up in the hunting shack. In fact, let's let's just show you what's about to happen from his point of view. He's up there chilling, chilling in his big orange prison suit like an idiot. And here comes Illidan. And I'm like, I'm not running out there because I know that there's a good chance that this guy's up in front of us all. And dink, dink, dink. Now that guy could have gotten away. I don't know why he chose to run out in the open. So this guy goes to loot. And I'm like, fuck you. I'm going to loot the rest of this bitch because I didn't get anything. And then I know he's over there to the right. I can hear the shots. So I think to myself, well, maybe I'll just blast out and go um, to the left hand side of docks and go up the the side of the hill and the loot is sparse because the guy's already gone through it pretty much all together I'm just managing to scrounge some ammo and whatnot really like an example of a poorly looted game you know getting taken further than it probably should have just because I should have died early on I didn't have enough gear I got chased down but that just goes to show you like don't ever stop and just sit down and let somebody plow you because you think that you're not going to get it get past him you gotta you gotta forge ahead in this game particularly so I'm feeling pretty good about my chances of running up the hill although I'm a little sphincter clenchy and just to give you an idea this guy's already heading out he's running for a whole nother continent at this point and we should because the circle is way up here at the top of the map and we're down here in the bottom so he actually makes a smart play and just bugs out instead of trying to figure out where I'm at and then fast forward a few minutes. I am perusing the area, just looking for the guy, making sure he isn't hanging out. I run down and I loot a little bit. I pick up some much needed frags and uh, a red dot, some gasoline. Uh, I think I maybe even grab um, a couple of attachments for my guns here, but nothing really major. And then in a weird tr change of fate, I get a truck that this guy seemed to have missed uh, in this city, so in a second I take off in the Mr. Miyagi special. 
and I gotta go a long way, but I wanna go up on the left hand side. I don't wanna go up on the right because I know the plane came from over here somewhere and it dumped all along here through boot camp and ruined. So I'm gonna try and blast through that blast past boot camp and get up here in the corner of the map somewhere. I wanna be kinda in this area and see where the map goes. That way I can kinda kill anybody who's coming into the end, keep my back safe, and then just keep moving on. Some expert driving through the trees if I do say so myself. Up until like the last three or two. Like I said, when I get rattled, I do stupid things. And I know this about myself. Knowing is half the battle. See all the people streaming in from the other side of the map? That's what I'm worried about. I want to blast past them and this guy taking pot shots at me. And then I dink into the tree. Which, in a way, is a good thing. I leave the truck at this point because I'm right there on the edge. I would have liked to have gone further than I did just to be safe. Because, clearly, a lot of people still fighting on the other side of the river. You're going to find that every time you cross a circle. I take a minor risk here knowing that that guy is trucking up behind me. But I need to get ready to fight. And I know it. So, And then I'm like, well, I'm going to take shelter in the best place I can. I'm going to kind of cuddle up in these rocks and see if I can be happy there to live my life. On the map, just so you have an idea, running in, there's uh, me, and then there's some guy on the on the house in the hills. There's the jonger who uh, took his shots at me the first time, and another guy named June Max who's coming. So this guy's coming right in. I don't think he knew where I was. I just think he had the same idea in his brain that he was going to get up in here with me. So I lit him up, steal his goodies, which I sorely needed. And then I have another guy named June Max coming up. He is kind of on a similar path. He has very swanky M24 and a not terrible mini skirt. So I decide, I have an idea that this guy is still coming up behind me. And I'm like, anybody who comes in is probably going to see the death crate. So I'm going to wedge myself in this little hole here and just wait and see. Maybe someone will pass by. Maybe they won't. Who knows? I have no idea that this guy is there, though. But I have an idea that there's more people behind me. I almost tipped my head over the ridge to look, and I'm glad I didn't because this guy has an M24. He's just kind of parked there with. He seemed, This guy seems a little hacky-ish to me, but I don't know. He meets his end at the up ahead of me here in a little bit. His story's already written. So right now, you can kind of get a gist of the map. Like, look at all the people hanging out in Paradise. Look at all the people hanging out in these houses. The circle's going to end up here somewhere, I think, just uh, in front of Paradise and all that jazz. So, like, that's the area to kind of pay attention to. That's where the end, where your players are going to kind of show themselves. All these guys on the ridge are in real jeopardy once the circle starts to flip. If they get in a firefight, they have no chance of getting in once the circle shows itself. Like, me and this guy, if I'd mixed it up with him here, I'd have had a bad day. Just something to think about. Like, if you can get away clean at this point when it's time to move, I think we had 47 seconds before the circle starts here. And I know I got a split. This guy gets preoccupied with this guy. He's going to wait for him to swim, I think. Just out of curiosity, let's see him pop him. Oh, terrible shot, kid. You can do it. All right. So now he's on the move. I am on the move. And what I don't know is that this guy gets an eye eyeball of me. And the reason I'm showing you his feed is, is I just want you to see what happens. He sees me. He thinks I'm ducked down, I think. And so he decides to take a very safe course of action while I'm still hauling balls. He lobs a nade after me. It's a mistake. If you don't have eyes on the guy, don't throw it because you don't know where he's going between when you throw, you know, like if you're just making a blind throw, sometimes it can save your balls, but this one did not. I get really lucky here, to be honest. I'm going to say 100%. I'd rather be lucky than good any day. What I don't know is watching me inside of here is this guy who's preoccupied with a guy who just threw the nade, and he doesn't have a great line of fire, but if he wasn't looking at that dude nonstop, he totally would have seen me just laying there on the ground like a yutz waiting for this guy to come out. You can see where I am, and then that's where our boy is, and I had no idea the whole time. And in a minute, I'm gonna like 
break bad and just kind of run for the circle. And you'll see what happens. This guy is eyeballing, eyeballing. He just barely doesn't have me in his sights this whole way up, which is kind of crazy. But that's PUBG in a nutshell. You can see all of the uh, Paradise people starting to flood in. Some guy is already in there. I'm surprised that this guy at the top, Dan, Dana Dan, did not take it because, for reals, he was in the catbird seat for this circle the whole time and still managed to pooch it up. Alright, so now, getting ready to shift with the circle. Here comes my boy running up on me. I'm waiting. He gets smart and he breaks hard left, or hard right, I should say. And I see him, and I'm like, well, I'll take a shot at him, which is a really not great thinking on my part. I miss, but I think, well, what the hell? He's going to take shots at me. I can probably still make the circle. I forget that I, or I don't realize that there's a guy staring at me through the window the whole time, trying to take a shot with me with a bolt-action rifle. If he'd only just gone to an AR the whole time, he would have had it. He rips me pretty good as I go by the window, but not enough to stop me. And then he does something stupid. He follows me out the window. And... Bazinga. I take his goods. I'm like, thanks, yo. Dumb balls. And I take... Uh, what did I take off of him? A level 3 pack, I think. Which was sorely needed. Because I was toting way too much shit. I take a second to med and get my shit together, and I roll out, and victim number two is out of picture. Fortunately for me, these were unlooted. My guy is still moving up at a pretty quick rate, going up the way here. So I start to trek up the hill. I hear that there's some fighting going on up above me, so I know that there's probably guys waiting on the rocks. You'll see me get real cautious as I move up. There's shooting going on ahead of me. you see me start kind of like peeking, peeking, going to the SMG in case I got to pepper somebody. So far, so good, because I'm still out of the circle, and I look ahead to... Ahead. You always want to be kind of gauging ahead, like, are those rocks in? Are those trees in? Is that bush in? Am I going to have to look around it? So as I move up, I hear feet ever so slightly pivot to try and meet me. So just for shits and giggles, I know this guy is just on this rock in front of me. I hear him, and I chunk one at him just to like see if I can move him. And then we have a very close contact. Fortunately, it's right on the edge of the circle. I see he's killed somebody else here. While I'm laying down looting, I see a guy on the hill like eyeballing me with a sniper rifle and I think maybe not see him up there and I don't know if he sees me per se but he's definitely looking in my direction I think maybe this palmetto bush shaved me a little bit but I see him duck down behind the tree there satinator or freemason I don't know which one it was satinator I guess so I slide forward a little bit to conceal myself and then I'm up and running before anybody can get a beat on me into the rock I try to make a decision tree on where I'm going to go. I know there's probably people in the houses, but at this point, I've got to go. I've only got 57 seconds and quite a ways as far as being on foot with snipers on me. I start running in. I use the truck as a little bit of cover. I'm not going in that building. But I don't want. I don't mind freaking the person out in there if there is one to think that I am in there. I hear another person running up on my right-hand side at this point. People taking pop shots at him. I think he's coming into my building at this point, but I'm not 100% sure. That was the guy I freaked out with my footsteps shooting at him when I ran in. So I know I've got two guys, both on my left-hand side. And actually, I think the first guy killed him, but it, while I was playing, I did not know that. So, player, what is that? Victim number four takes a dump. And now I realize that I am right in the circle, or real close to it, and that the circle is just backed up to me. 
I still think that there's somebody on my left, but I'm not 100%. I remember that thing I was saying about people throwing grenades without having a real clear picture of where people are. That's a really big deal here. And I mean, some people will probe at the end of the game with grenades. I personally try not to do it. Although sometimes you can get lucky and jackpot it with, you know, with that. But this particular guy on my right hand side, Satan, Satan Ador or Satan Ador, whatever the hell it is is about to throw grenades. I had no idea where he was, but I was about to shift right. If he hadn't done it, I wouldn't have known where he was. And that's why it's important to kind of keep, not give away your position at the end if you don't have to. And so, I get, can't really see because of the goddamn fern. He's He sees me and is holding a peak, but that doesn't matter because I can time my grenades. And at this point, I'm trying to figure out where I gotta go. And I figure that my guy is probably up on the hill at the rock or somewhere close. So I figure I'm gonna just kinda run to the circle and get my spot. I know earlier I pooched up a game pretty bad by not charging the circle at the end and getting position. Position's the most important thing at this place. I would've rather been hiding low. This guy probably has a little bit of an edge on me. And he make a couple dents in me, but that's okay. I've got what I need. Fortunately, he did not have nades, or I would have been in a much worse pickle. Nobody says that anymore, do they? Pickle. But I have a ton of nades because I've been collecting them off the, all the dead guys. And then I flub a bunch of them. Let's watch it from his angle just to see what this looks like. That one almost killed him. He gets the time to heal. I accidentally chuck a smoke off to the right because I primed it. And one more... That one hurt a little bit, but didn't really do too much damage. Let's try another one. If he'd been shooting at me this whole time while I was doing this, he probably would have come away okay. Uh, but he just let me pelt him with nades, and it was all right. I had to get a running start on this one. There we go. I was just not making it up the hill. And so, victorious, I run over to check on my dead guy's box. Hooray! But you can see what I'm saying, like, that started as a really terrible looted game. I end up with level 3 vest, level 3 bag, level 2 helmet, and all the grenades you can eat. And that made all the difference at the end. Me and the last guy, I never even fired a shot the last two people. It was all just grenade work. So pick up your throwables, make sure you hang on to them, don't give your position away early, and for God's sakes, don't do what this guy did and not shoot at me. Shoot everybody.